Welcome back campers to part two of our talk about fuel sources for cooking. Safety. So I have a few safety devices here. In kind of classic order. So first we have our shovel. So if you are using a fire with like wood or something, you can smother the fire by pouring dirt on it. Shovel is also handy when you're starting your fire, if you're reusing a fire pit to kind of move the old ash out, move any wet debris out so that you don't have water and steam coming up from underneath if at all possible. You can also make yourself a fire pit if you're camping, if you have a shovel. This is a Coleman collapsible shovel or a camping shovel. I keep it in with my gear. I sometimes even keep this in my car because it folds down quite small. So then we have the classic bucket of water. You can pour this on your charcoal. You can pour it on your wood. I would not use it on anything gas related. The best thing with gas related is just turn off the gas source and let it burn itself out if you have a problem. If you can't do so, you're going to want a chemical fire extinguisher and to try to get as far away because most chemical fuel sources can be dangerous. If you have a propane leak, it can be explosive. It can actually flash explode. There's been cases that in history where, where a large amount of propane had flowed into a valley and uh, got lit and caused several deaths. Uh, the, the Coleman fuel, if you do have an issue where it's burning, your best bet is to either use a chemical fire extinguisher or try to just contain it and let it burn itself out. Now, I'm not an expert. This is just stuff I've learned over time and from talking to experts. So I keep in my fire kit a chemical fire extinguisher. Uh, I got this off Amazon. Link will be down below. And I'll also link a video to ADHD's world where he actually tested this exact fire extinguisher with a in a contained barbecue grill to test its uh, viability. So that both those links will be down below. I always keep one in my fire kit just in case something gets out of control and I have to put it out quick. While we're talking about putting fires out never leave a fire unattended even if you're doing all day cooking with a crock pot or something if you have live active flame always put someone to watch it because fire can get out of control very easily especially especially at some campgrounds where there's leaves and detritus right at the edge of your fire pit you can mitigate that by cleaning up around your fire pit when you get first get there with a shovel, your hands, or whatever. But, you know, leaves fall all the time. So it's just a good idea to keep an eye on a fire at all time. If you're cooking on a stove and you have to walk away, just turn off the heat. You know, turn, turn off the fuel source, walk away, and come back. You never want to leave a live flame unattended. Now... I would like to take a moment to talk about refilling containers. Uh, the isobutane, as far as I know, there's not a lot of places to get refillable kits. I personally would not refill these because the metal feels fairly um, thin and soft, and we are talking about compressing gas. So what you'll be doing is you'll be creating a cycle where the metal has pressure, it doesn't have pressure, it has pressure, it doesn't have pressure, and it's flexing the metal. And over time, that will fatigue the metal and could cause a catastrophic failure of the container. With isobutane, it's not as bad because butane evaporates so quickly and it's lighter than air when it evaporates. So you're not going to be dealing with a fog of flammable gas just hanging out but i would not recommend refilling these you can buy devices that will put holes in them and then you can take them to your local recycling plant and they'll recycle them 
you may even be able to just recycle them like this as long as they're fully empty just call your local seal recycling plant okay so now we're going to talk about the standard one pound propane tanks most common is the coleman brand but you can get them in just about any brand but the most common you'll see is coleman brand these are designed to be used once it's actually illegal according to the dot and federal law to transport these if you've refilled them uh, on this in handling storage number four never refill this container refilling may cause explosion federal law forbids transportation if refilled penalty up to a five hundred thousand dollar fine and five years in prison and this is 49 usc 5124 if you want to look up the law now our Federal agents, is the police going to check your canisters in your car or at your campground to see if you refilled them? Probably not. But if an accident happens, you are liable for what happens. Uh, you've taken the liability on yourself. You could end up getting the full weight of this law levied against you. Again, I am not a lawyer, I'm not a legal expert. I'm just going based on what's written on here and experience with watching the law. So you could be on the hook for $500,000 and spend five years in prison, especially if somebody's injured. If somebody is injured because refilling these is illegal, you could find yourself in a civil lawsuit. So I do not recommend refilling this. That, that being said, there is a manufacturer called Flame King. They make a specially designed heavy duty, thicker walled metal. Cause again, this, this goes back to, this is not designed to be repeatedly flexed through the compression expanding of gases. Also look at online, the, number one method used to refill these is you put these in the freezer now the problem with that is cold, metal gets brittle when it gets cold it decreases the strength of the metal so you're adding on to that a shortened lifespan and you're stressing the metal so eventually it could it could fail from a metallurgic standpoint so going back to Flame King, Flame King does have a kit you can buy that comes, it's $35. It comes with a tank and it's got a groove in the tank that corresponds with a stop pin in the refill nozzle that will only allow you to use that tank so you cannot use one of these tanks with it. And it holds your 20 pound tank upside down so it's much safer if you do get one of these kits i do not have one there i might get one if you guys say hey brian please get one and show us using it i will i will recommend though from here if you get one from everything i've read from online and from propane experts and talking to propane experts fill them outside don't do it in your garage go into your backyard go to a friend's yard if, if you live in an apartment and fill it up outside because there will be some level of leaked gas and propane is heavier than air and flashes very easily. You don't want it sitting around in your home. You don't want it sitting around in your garage, especially, you know, when you have all that electrical stuff. All right, camper. So that is my discussion about safety with fire fuels please like share and subscribe if you found this information useful and as always as long as you're having fun you're doing camping right mm -hmm.